Apex Legends just dropped the fifth step to get the reactive flatline in Apex Legends and today I'm going to show you the quickest way to get these challenges completed so let's get into it. So first of all all these challenges are of course going to be for Loba some of them are really straightforward like play 15 games of Loba, deal 3000 damage, survive 25 rings closing that one's kind of annoying because it's the same thing with like the past ones they keep increasing it by like five which is a really annoying challenge but I'm going to show you a way how to complete it really easily so yeah. And our fourth challenge is to actually have the black market open and have like 20 teammates to squad mates actually loot it. So that's not really too hard. Anytime you place a low ball down, people are down bad for that loot. So you know for a fact they're going to steal it, especially if you have an octane on your team. So that'll be easy. And the final one is loot 10 legendary items with Loba. I think they just changed the challenge for Loba last second. Okay, so I wasn't wrong. They really changed, they just changed the Loba challenge, like the exact damage. So it was originally you're supposed to do like 3000 damage with Loba. But you're now gonna do 4,000 damage. What? Yeah, I didn't know they can change it midway through, but that's that's kind of annoying, but whatever. So for legendary gear challenge, what I recommend you do is every game go somewhere with the hot drop because you have a higher chance of actually getting gold loot and legendary loot. So like the gold helmet, gold bag, those are the kind of the big things you're looking for. And then you'll also be able to use your like your low ball up there to steal stuff too. If you don't land directly in it, you can just like third party steal and just do your thing. I'm not gonna lie, I missed my world shot that they there. That should have been a nice one clip, but your boy cannot hit Jack. I was like, we're gonna have a low ball and just plunder all the stuff here. I wanna third party that and like get all the kills, but it doesn't particularly matter because we're trying to complete this challenge. So since we know this is hot POI, we can plunder in here, find good stuff. Just grab hop ups because hop ups are considered legendary items. And with that, we'll be good. So what we should happen now, since we grabbed hop ups, we return to the lobby. So you see right there, two legendary items have been looted. The hop ups are all legendary. So make sure to grab those with your low ball to easily complete this challenge. Oh, interesting. Also, if you loot the alt yourself, it considers as your teammates, which is weird. I guess that just makes life easier. Wait, can I pick up the same item? And it counts? Start, just start juggling items. Wait a minute, does that work? I'll try it. Daily challenge is at breakout. Okay, so you can't loot the same items multiple times in a row. They have to be different gold items. Can't be the same ones you've already picked up before. Okay, so for the next challenge, we actually gotta survive a certain amount of rings closing, which is 25. This is probably my least favorite challenge in Apex for these like, for the free reactive flatline scan, but it's absolutely painful. So the first thing you wanna do is get somewhere in ring. And what you wanna do is find a nice spot like this for example or you can pick a corner or a cubby anything you want to do and all you want to do for this challenge for ring closing is literally rat it on out and just not do anything and then just go do something on your off time whether it be do dishes make yourself some lunch dinner whatever you want to do you're probably chilling as long as you're like inside of ring for like a minute you can always check up to and reposition stuff if necessary but that's what i recommend doing this is truly engaging gameplay yes yes magma Riding is definitely super engaging. Absolutely. I do not disagree with that. It's such, it's such a big IQ play. No one, no one will uncomprehend it. Apex forcing players retention for the with these challenges. Lamal, for real. Yeah, they want you to rat so they can get their player retention up. Even though it doesn't make any sense because of the fact they don't have ads in their game. Don't give EA actually any ideas, chat. Do not give EA any ideas. They do need those numbers, the EA show. Yeah, they got to show their investors. Absolutely. They gotta show them the rest is their player retention so that way they can make more money. It may bring us more collection events so we can spend $300 on them. Yeah, they definitely need to do that. We, we, we should let Apex like definitely take all of our time. You guys, can you guys hear the sarcasm in my voice if I'm not being blatantly obvious enough? Now for the damage challenge, what I want you to do is play Control or TDM. And the reason why you wanna play those game modes is because of the fact that technically speaking, if you play these game modes, they actually count towards the damage for uh, the, was it 6,000 now instead of like, was it 3,000 damage? So this will just make it easier for getting damage. Instead of like consistently playing Battle Royale, going into fight, maybe die, you can just play Control TDM, easily get kills, rack up a ton of damage, and complete the 6,000 damage challenge in absolutely no time. I thought that was a completely different kid.
That guy's a bot. Oh, it was close. That massive lifeline was kind of scared. Ah! It's a lifeline. It kills me. So with that though, we have done all the challenges for Loba, so we should have access to the challenges complete for her, which we can see right here. Loba challenges are complete. With these methods of actually ratting, doing your thing, doing TDM and control for damage and all the other stuff for looting, you can easily complete this challenge within a few hours. At least started at one o'clock, it is currently 510. And the only reason why it took me so long was because ratting in Apex is annoying. And it's obvious as that. But if you guys did find this video helpful here today, then you know what to do. Make sure to smash the like button and get subscribed to miss some future Apex content because we're going to cover the last challenge within the last day. I think it's like on April 23rd or something like that. So if you don't want to miss out on that, then you know what to do because once we complete that challenge, we will have some gameplay of the new reactive flatline. So definitely get subscribed to miss on that because we're going to make a separate video for that too as well. So yeah, until then, have a great day, G-Man out.